so the buffer can only go from 0 to 1 it cannot go from 1 to 0 if we compare the dynamo domino CMOS logic with conventional dynamic CMOS logic you can see in the evaluation phase 1 or more inputs can make transition from 1 to 0 in the conventional dynamic CMOS logic one or more inputs can make transition from 1 to 0 but in the case of domino logic when precharge phase is there everything is turned off every transistor is turned off and in the evaluation phase every transistor is turned on and can make only one transition 0 to 1 compared if you compare it with conventional dynamic CMOS logic it can make two transitions either 0 to 1 or 1 to 0 but in this case it can make only one transition from 0 to 1 the evaluation phase of every stage repels next stage evaluation phase forming the condition similar to domino falling after one one after the other hence the circuit is called as domino CMOS logic circuit the advantages of using domino CMOS logic is less number of transistors are required you can see from the diagram it is 8 input complex logic gate realized using conventional CMOS logic in the first diagram you can see the number of transistors are more and in the second case if you realize the same circuit with domino CMOS logic the number of transistors required are less but there are also some problems that arises by using the domino CMOS logic and the first problem is number of static CMOS inverter that is buffer to be used is always even the number of CMOS inverters or buffers that are being used is also always needs to be even because if it is not even then transition 1 to 0 can happen in order to make the transition only from 0 to 1 only from 0 to 1 we need to always have the even number of in CMOS inverters or buffers the second problem that arises is only non inverting structures can be implemented using domino CMOS and the solution to this problem is if we use the conventional CMOS logic we can also have inverting structures that are not being supported by using domino CMOS logic and the third problem is charge sharing between dynamic stage output node and intermediate and most block using evaluation phase there will be charge sharing between dynamic stage output node and intermediate and most block during the evaluation phase and there are three solutions to this problem the first solution is if we use PMOS PMOS in the feedback loop of output as pull up device weak pull up device to output of domino CMOS PMOS, PMOS will be turned on when output is high and off when V out is when output voltage is high. Let me explain it to you by the help of diagram. This is the PMOS that is being used in the feedback path of the output. So when the V out is high, the PMOS will invert the value and it will be turned off. And when the output is high, when the output and in the second case when the precharge voltage is high it will be turned it will be turned as on the second thing we can do is we can use the PMOS transistors to precharge all the intermediate and most nodes which have larger parasitic capacitance we can use PMOS transistor we can put PMOS transistor and precharge this NMOS logic block which have high parasitic capacitance and the third thing we can do to avoid the problem of charge sharing is logic threshold voltage of inverter should be made low if you make the logic threshold voltage of inverter low then the final stage output voltage will not be affected by lowering Vx if you make the threshold voltage low then 
you need to if you lower the voltage of out vx if you lower the vx then it will not be lower than the threshold voltage so your problem will be solved thanks for watching